Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Friday the 5th of April. It's Mike Smith, seeing analysts at Go Markets, leading you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw US equity markets weaker. Fairly significant sell-off in the afternoon of the US session. The delay in rate cuts narrative is gathering momentum. There have been several Fed members speaking this week all given that same message. And as a result, the market has just pulled back a little bit. And context is important here, of course. Still less than 2% on the NASDAQ from record highs. So it is a pullback rather than anything more significant at this stage. But the Dow has been down for the last four straight days and had its single worst day in 12 months. So it's not unnoteworthy. US futures, however, are holding up in early Asian trading today. Whereas Asian equity markets are generally following that weaker US lead, ASX is trading around about 0.9% towards the lows of the session as we get nearer towards the close of the week. European equity futures are also pointed to a lower open due to that late sell-off in the US subsequent to European market close last night. The US dollar index, however, didn't move very much despite this. It is near neutral. Uh, gold, however, did pull back from 2300 Continued its weakness in Asia so far. Copper was also the same. Copper actually closed slightly to the upside on the previous day's trading, but has sold off in Asia to some degree to pull back from that 14-month high we saw yesterday. Oil has moved higher again and is becoming an over-increasing concern playing into the inflation narrative. Bitcoin's trading mid-range had a slightly positive day yesterday, still below that critical 71,000 level. And of course, we have non-farm payrolls tonight out of the US. In between times, we've already had Australian trade balance numbers, which are slightly soft. We've got German factory orders and European retail sales this afternoon and Canadian jobs data also tonight. None of those are likely to affect global markets, but will impact on local currencies. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start with the GB pound USD on the one hour chart. You can see there, uh, the sell-off towards the back of the U.S. session, and um, we've had that continuation in Asia, bringing us down to this S1 pivot around about 126.23. If we breach that, uh, which it looks as though we might give it a shot, we could see us down to 126 in the first round of selling. Uh, if we should breach the S2 pivot, then that there is quite a high probability move of around about another 25 pips through 126 and down to 125.75 so potential overall for around about a 50 pip move but a strong chance of a pause at around 126. On the ASX it's really quite difficult to find something that catches our eye uh, but MGX, Mark Gibson, Iron Limited are having an interesting day. You can see that this stock has found support just around this 42.5 cent level it was significant back here in September 2023 as well. But we're seeing some buy-in today, which has pushed us through up to 45 and may give us a chance to move back up to 50. That would obviously be a significant move to the upside of around about 10%. But the fact that this is booking the market trend is a bounce off established support, gives it some weight in terms of a potential opportunity. And one certainly worth having a look at in the last hour of trading. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.